So I actually was in Argentina uh, for spring break. I was supposed to hike Patagonia. And then I got a call from one of the faculty members. I think um, at that point I was already getting tired of being surprised of of surprised of being surprised. Um, I think I was it, everyone had sort of started to adopt a mindset of things are constantly changing and you don't know what decisions will be made tomorrow from what it looks like today. There were probably only a handful of cases in New York at that time. If they were taking such measures, for me, I knew I, the worst was yet to come. Uh, NYU's announcement had come out a couple days before. We had, I mean, things were in, in terms of like the COVID related shutdowns, things were in full swing. Bars and restaurants were shut down for a few days at that point, or maybe a week, uh, hard to tell. Uh, lots of public events, lots of school events had been canceled by then. Match day is undoubtedly, I would say, the most important day of a student's medical school career because it will dictate where you're going to spend the next three to seven years of training. And we work our butts off during those four years of med school. And, you know, match day is when you're supposed to see if it's paid off or not. And to have that taken away, everyone was heartbroken. I know I was because I wouldn't get to spend that moment with all my friends. So I, I knew that that was going to be missing. And I, I knew that increasingly so. Uh, there was plans for, first when they canceled the full ceremony, there were plans for a, a mini version where we could go into small rooms and pick up our envelopes. And then that got canceled as well. Um, and all of this was getting canceling, of, getting canceled, of course, as the outbreak was increasing. Um, and so there was, you know, any emotion I feel that could have happened from, say, disappointment or sadness of, of not being able to experience match was very quickly dwarfed by this uncertainty, um, by the chaos. My roommate's going into psychiatry, so it was me, him, and his girlfriend, like, alone on our couch. The deans made a video with a lot of our advisors and faculty congratulating us, talking about um, their match day experiences. So I would have celebrated with him and all my other friends in a big match ceremony. Went from that to celebrating with him and his family at a restaurant to me and him on our couch uh, and just like swimming in with the rest of our class. We had, you know, he had a FaceTime going with his parents and everyone was you know, emotional about figuring out where they're going for the next three to seven years. Um, but it was, you know, there was the champagne. My roommate's girlfriend made some, you know, muffins and it was nice, but it was sad. Uh, it was sad that such a seminal moment in medical school, uh, such an emotional moment, uh, the culmination of so many years for so many people, uh, it was reduced to, you know, sitting on your couch and not even with all your loved ones, maybe just like one or two. The, you know, the, every school does it differently. Columbia, normally you go into a room and there's a whole bunch of envelopes and you get your envelope. Uh, this time around, we ended up with just an email uh, at the time uh, that we, I think at noon, I guess, or I guess it was noon. Um, and a couple of friends and I had decided like we would get together in a small group, have one of our friends who had matched already because some some of the specialties have an earlier match that he would um write all of our names and where we were going on little pieces of paper actually toilet paper because that was in high demand at the time um and put them in envelopes and then we would have our own little uh envelope opening ceremony so it it felt it felt special in that way sort of coming together in the end um finding this funny substitution for a big event and then you know i was still able to to tell like call my grandmother 
talk to friends, tell my friends who live in Boston that I was coming. Um, so I would say the, the excitement wasn't all that dampened uh, compared to what I initially expected. But it's just an emotionally charged day. And now that we had to have it via Zoom, it was surreal. It reminded me the gravity of the situation, but it also made me thankful in a way because it's the small things that matter. And even though COVID-19 has taken away so much from us, they still couldn't fully take away match day from us. It's been a bit difficult, I think, to understand that this is now not only my new reality, but everyone's new reality. That transition, you know, again, hasn't been the easiest, but I also realized for me personally that I could not envision myself doing anything else except this. Just realizing that things are changing, we've lost things, everyone's losing things, some people are losing things that are, you know, more significant than others. Some people are very sick, some people have died. Um, people are losing family members, losing jobs. Some people lose their graduation, um, lose time with friends and family before they move. Um, but everyone's losing something and it's, it hurts and it's going to hurt, but if you just accept that it hurts and, you know, kind of go with it. Whenever crises bring out the best and worst in people, I, or I guess you could say they bring out the extremes in people. Um, so I've been really amazed by the ingenuity of classmates and creating a whole service learning curriculum and many different volunteer projects um, and helping offload the, the hospitals, um, the, the demands on the hospital. Um, I think I've been, I mean, life's just gotten a lot simpler. So like um, I, the the day-to-day -day things that I do and that I look to to give me happiness are simpler, so like going on a walk with my dog, um, having dinner with my family, which, you know, is not something I've done much in the last three years, um, but doing that like every day uh, has been really nice. This is the one issue you know, during my entire lifetime and probably will be my entire lifetime where everyone is on the same page. And when everyone's on the same page and is united against a single thing, that in itself just should, reveals the power of what we're capable of as a society. I was excited to be able to lend some knowledge and experience to the to sort of combating the pandemic um, while also feeling a bit apprehensive you know like even becoming a doctor and entering your the beginning of your training is can be stressful and anxiety inducing especially in the middle of a pandemic um, so so there there was about a, a mix of emotions but I felt sort of the call to the call to be answered so by the time that we got that email, I really felt like, you know, this is our time. They, they finally are calling us in. Like we finally can stop sitting at home and we can do something, we can act. So I initially was all um, very just upbeat and positive and, and looking forward to finally being able to play a role in this. All of this was sort of like, ah, what is this gonna mean? Are we really gonna be interns? That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, and then as time has gone on, I think it's, it's formed a little bit more. And there was a lot of confusion, but also a restlessness to actually do something. Because as med students, we're naturally inclined to do whatever we can to help out. You want to be there for people when they're scared and when they're facing you know, terrifying things when they're facing illness or at the end of life. And you want to learn the things that are important and you want to have an important job and feel like you have a purpose. The most overwhelming thing is that 
everything is uncertain, everything is always urgent, um, and everything is always changing. I will not know what tomorrow looks like. And that's what the biggest lesson I've learned from this entire experience is because things that I thought were impossible are now a reality. I guess it, it sort of goes along with how I've been feeling this whole time. Like there is something to celebrate that we have these four years behind us and we've learned a lot, achieved a lot um, as a class and individually in terms of growing in our careers. Um, but a part of that career that we've, that we've chosen and that's really of the moment now is dealing with crises, medical crises. So it, even though the maybe emotions are a little contradictory, I think they, they, um, they are sort of complementary um, in the sense that, that being a part of medicine, as, as I'm, not, I'm not seeing this because I'm, I'm looking at the charts of deceased people, but you know, the people who are, are taking care of people in the hospital are saying, you know, there are lots of success stories um, that come from this work. Um, and there's tragedy as well. Uh, and you sort of just take both of them.